vision media wasting time is over no vision media too far to to the world no vision media all right let go no vision media where the sound make a difference also including baby and van life new experience on the streets collecting views and opinions business artist platform for the small man a great ideas through resilience new vision media that's new vision 242.com 242 to the world new vision media also new vision 242 instagram 242 to the world new vision media and new vision aid them at facebook 242 to the world new vision media well, check us out we're gonna have fun okay now i gotta Hi, good evening. Thank you for tuning in with Delano Carey on Life Lessons. Thank you for joining us. My two special guests, can you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Meredith Williams. What do you do? I was about to get there. Uh -huh. I'm a music artist. I sing, play the piano, and I'm a motivational speaker at times. Right, I was waiting on that. Okay, can you introduce yourself? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Shawty Lowe, back at it again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but my name is Trene Love, and I'm just a nice girl that just out here, living life, loving people, exp having experiences. And I'm also a photographer. My brand is Promise Me Photography. And you do good work, by the way. Thank you. Yes. So... Of course, I invited you guys here today for us to discuss some social ills. We're going to get to some tough topics, but I'm sure that you, each one of y'all, are very capable of answering. Absolutely. Yeah, so the first topic, or the first question, do you feel that statistics stating that single mothers are, sti sorry, do you feel that statistics are right when they state that single mothers produce damaged kids? How do you feel about that? I don't agree. <clears throat> Give me why. Why do you feel like? I, I don't agree because um, it it's just, it's it depends on the mental state of an individual on how their offspring comes out, not just your situation because some single mothers do it by themselves, but they manage to make, like, create fairly well kids in society and even males because a lot of people feel like single mothers can't raise males. Some of them can. So I, I really don't feel like because of I, this. I like the word some. Yeah, some of, some of them. Some of them can. But being a single mother doesn't automatically mean that, all right, they're already yeah. tossed to the side. Right. What's your take on it? Well, I don't have any kids as yet. Mm -hmm. But from being around certain environments, like she said, some can. Mm -hmm. You know, um, what is it? Oh, you put me in the lion's den with this. Yeah, see, this, this that's a that's a touchy topic. For, for for me, I can speak personally. For me, um, I was raised by a single mother, and all three of us, I would say, turned out very very good. Um, so I don't personally agree with the statistics. I basically the statistics that I'm reading from is based on them claiming that seventy five percent of males that who are incarcerated are from single mother? Um, what I would say is that as a woman, you can't raise a man. In order for a little boy to be a man, you have to see a man. I get that. That's what I, yeah. that's what I know. You know, I, I made a post today basically saying that a male is much equipped when it comes to teaching a male or a male child how to deal with his emotions. Because very often, we are taught to just tough it up. 
we're not allowed to show emotions and to actually state that we're hurt because you'd be called soft. So with that situation, I think when you have a male figure, it doesn't have to be a biological father, but having a male figure to guide them, it helps. But at the same time, the nurturing side from a mother is very important because they want you to just be hard and tough. You could raise, as a woman, a woman could raise a man, a man could raise a woman. Or let me let me rephrase that. A woman, which is a mother, could raise a male child, and a father could raise a female child. I've seen it. And I personally feel that way because it's all about where your headspace is. We have to get out of this cliche way of thinking and operating in life. And if you could deal with life from the standpoint of reality, Agreed. all you got to do is stay in reality yeah. and get out of what your ancestors told you it should be or what people say it should be. Focus on what's right in front of you. And stop playing the blame game. And no blame game. Just raise the child. Just raise the child. Yeah. That's it. Because I even like um, I had a discussion and my inboxes are full. This gentleman, he messaged, he said he has an issue with his son being with his ex because whenever his son comes back by him, he has to almost like reprogram him because his ex put in his son head that your daddy leave us. Mm-hmm. When in actuality, I, I, I can't speak on situation. I don't know what was the cause. Mm-hmm. But from what the dad is saying, he left the situation or the relationship. Mm-hmm. He didn't leave his son. But you have males who do it as well. Your mommy left us. Because you have, some, you have some single fathers. And I think the issue is we need to take the kids out of it because it does more damage to them rather than raising them effectively. But when you're trying to pin the child or the children against each parent, that's where the problem comes in. I think that does more damage than actually a single parent or a single mother raising a child. It's when a hurt or a bitter person is trying to turn the child against the other parent. Exactly. So it goes back to what I say. Just stay in reality. Yeah. It, it in the fact they don't need to know what daddy did to you. Yeah. And they don't need to know what mommy did yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. All you all need to do is come together and co-parent as best as possible. Every other thing does not matter. I agree. Just stick with reality of what they need. Don't, don't. See, a lot of people are so hurt. And I've been in the, I've been in that, I grow out of that. Right. I grow out of that, by the way. But a lot of people get so hurt, they will talk to anybody, Mm -hmm. even if it's a child. Okay? But you have to understand that where you are mentally or on a mature level. Right. Your child ain't there. No. You could easily make them hate the other parent. Because both parents are their idol. Exactly. So you could easily make them hate the other parent because they feeding off your emotions. Correct. Now I love my mommy. And this is how my daddy made my mommy feel. Mm-hmm. So I don't like my daddy. Right. Or this is, I love my daddy. And this is how my mommy made my daddy feel. So I don't like my mommy no more. Children are very impressionable. So it, what you and daddy got going on ain't got nothing to do with them. Mm-hmm. Simple. Now when it comes to protecting them, because they don't know any better. And I would say, okay, for instance, where I am, I'm definitely more mature than my kids. You should so, be. You, should you know, be. I should be, but I am. Yeah. Um, the only way I would have to explain to you who your father is, is if there's something he is doing that will hurt you, and I, I understand that kids don't understand it yet. Correct. But they still have feelings. And so if if your daddy is going to treat you a particular way that's going to affect you in any way, then I have to step in. Okay. This is why you ain't going by your daddy, because right. this is what's going on. Because it will be your job to protect your child. Exactly. Yeah. But if, if, I have a, if I have a good father, if he is a good father, but he ain't want nothing to do with me, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Once he's doing, right. Do what you're going to do. I, and I have an issue with that. Very often when a relationship break down, a lot of black men and Bahamian men in particular, I only can speak mm-hmm. for our demographic. Mm-hmm. Because the woman don't want you no more, you don't get do for the for the child. Which I have a problem stupid. with that. 
drop my children in the bay and you go your way. That's how I feel. I don't feel like you should punish the child. Okay, well, I'm not buying the child list. I'm not paying for this because you have a man or you have a new husband. That, to me, is crazy because the new person wasn't there when you conceived this person or when this person was conceived. So why are you now trying to punish the child because this person move on? Spiteful. What do you think about that? Um, that's just spiteful. That's crazy. Men are very, not all, but they're very spiteful. And um, back to the um, child situation, I would say when you say a single mother could, could raise a, a male child or children or something like that, I would say it, it depends on the mother's or, or a single parent happiness, whether it's, right. whether it's mother or right. father. Um, if they was, if, especially with, if, with the mommy, if the mommy was happy, so let's just say it was a situation where um, the lady, the, you know, the baby daddy um, didn't work. It didn't work out with the baby daddy, you know, but mm-hmm. you find somebody else and they treated you like, a, like the queen that you are and you were very happy and content. You know, so that right there, you would, you know, raise your child with all the the love and, you know, you would tell them not to do this and do that. So I would say, you know, it's, it's the happiness of the of the parent. And they feel it. And um, another thing, too, because um, you have some mothers, too, because what their baby daddies did to them, they would take their frustration out on that child. And because the child looks so much like the baby daddy. Another stupid thing. Yeah, so they, it's, it's just what like... What would do that for Drew back? It's just mm-hmm. resentment. You think women do that mm-hmm. for real? Yes. Like when yes. they look at their child? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. So, and see, well, back then, you know, we didn't really had, you know, like talk shows mm-hmm. or, you know, counseling sessions or therapists for, you know, People could, well, all the folks now, people like who over 35, you know, could have gone to and talked to. They just had to deal with their issues, you know. Internally. Internally. And and then so they just, anything that, you know, trigger them, they just take it out on the children. Yeah. I I, I definitely agree. Even like having discussions with my family. I told my mommy the other day, I said, I'm in therapy. She looked at me like, what? You crazy. You're in therapy? What? 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 (laughs) And I, I know mommy might be watching, so she quote, she said, that's a white person issue. Yeah, so that's what you say. That's and white people problem. I had to, well, my, 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 my baby sister, she was like, no, it's not. And the thing is, therapy is so, so good and so, need, so needed. A lot of persons, if they would actually take the time and do therapy just to unload, they would be much, much, much more at peace. I, my therapist actually is telling me she's looked forward for my time to come and talk to her. Because she's a you, you, you uplift me and inspire me. Well, I mean. You know, <clears throat> but it, it's, it's needed. And it's not to say that something is wrong with you and that you're crazy. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just need a safe place to vent. Yeah, that's true. And that's what it is. I, when it comes to, see, that's, that's, that, that's the thing I say now again. It's too much. It's too much talks in the earth on the whole. You just need to stick to reality of what you need as an individual. It does not matter what is white people teens or what is black people teens. Because, okay, if it's white people teens versus black people teens, look at the way a white person lives their life. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's because they talk. It's because they vent. It's because they handle things different. It's because in their household they allow their child to speak or express themselves. You understand? Yeah. So... Look at the difference between a white what is a white person's home versus a black person's mm-hmm. home. You got a bunch of contention and and and, and drama and yep. confusion because nobody can speak. And then what I what what I feel uh black people didn't really understand the way y'all were handled. Cuz I can say y'all, I ain't part of the slave. Yeah. <laughs> the way y'all the way y'all was handled. The way y'all was handled. Y'all don't understand that y'all did exactly what the white man did to y'all when y'all ain't had no say. Mm-hmm. Y'all ancestors did to y'all what the white man did to them. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Whether they right or wrong, you cannot speak. You understand? Y'all bring that from where down so there. So they call it manners. They call it manners. Mm-hmm. But really and truly... 
take into consideration someone's mental health. Because mm-hmm. to me, age don't matter. Yeah. If my son's two, they like, they three, look at me. My son's three. <laughs> <laughs> and if I feel the need to, if I did something, if they want to ask me, well, what they, I can tell you what you do. Right. I don't want to tell you get out of my face, don't right. ask me nothing. No, right. I can tell you. So that you don't sit down with the wrong impression and then you take on the mentality, oh, I get abused or my mommy don't like me. I can tell you. You understand what I'm saying? So when y'all want to call dance, white people dance, black people dance, but look how the white people living because they do certain things. I agree. You understand? Agree. Black people say the the it's black people swag when your pants hanging off your hips and, and you you got the big clothes back in the day. Right. They call dressing clean and making sure the Preppy. crease in your pants yeah. and you got a little sweat oh, around your neck. Oh, you look like a white boy. Yeah, you dress too We soft. look clean though. Or talking properly. Yeah. Or yeah, you, speaking properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you have proper education or you acting white. Oh, that you is, think you're better than people. You think you're better than people. That is what you, but you need. Know, touching on that whole white and black situation, I had a conversation as of late, and I told a friend of mine, I said, I had to shift my mindset when it relates to my kids. Very often, a black parent would want their child to hurry up to an 18, get a hotel job, and come help me pay this mortgage. Whereas a white parent, you stay as long as you need to, you go to college, you get a career, and when you leave from here, from my house, you already have your down payment for your home, exactly. and you move straight into your home. So I think, too, we've been conditioned to this mindset, whereas just paycheck to paycheck and survival, rather than trying to equip our kids with the mindset as, let's make something happen today so that we can live off of it tomorrow. And that's, <clears throat> my kids, I don't want them to leave the nest until they are ready to fly. I don't want to, sh- like, very often when you look at kids, or with well, teenagers, 17, 18, and they move in with man. How? Let's get rid when of you- some comments. Okay, let's get to the comments. When you move out my house, you need to be moving into your house or you going to college in a dorm. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's them. <laughs> Yeah, we need persons to express themselves. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Tanya, cousin Tanya. As parents, our children should be able to express their feelings to us without being scared. That's important. That's important because we have predators out there as well, cousin Tanya. Mm-hmm. And if your kids are afraid to come to you and tell you when something is wrong, how would they be able to express when people are preying on them? Well, I have someone here. It's Frederico. You don't agree with the yes, mom, yes, sir stuff. I actually, I do agree. I do agree with with um, individual individuals having manners, mm-hmm. but you should not. Let me see. How I can put this. Have manners, but. When a person is trying to voice their opinion or speak to you and even let you know what you did wrong or whatever the case may be, a lot of that is considered in, in black homes, disrespect, back talking, and all these different things. But this is a whole next individual only trying to let you know, listen, hey, all right, you have your reasons for rowing me or beating me. But I just want to tell you how I feel about this. That is, I mean... From my perspective, I would say that's healthy communication. After everything, then die down. If we sit down and talk about it. <laughs> I, Are we talking about back in the day? Yeah, we talk about Because a about lot of that was pure abuse. The stories what I've heard from my grandparents and stuff, that was pure abuse. And I think it had a lot to do with lack of education too. Comprehension and understanding. I see an next comment here. Say, what about black parents? It's Felicia Dean. What about black parents that do things to push their children out of the home when they become 18? That's the next thing. That's a curse. <laughs> so you, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I've, had, I've literally had white friends who I've seen, and that's, that's why I condition my mind different. I've literally seen them go to college, well, school, college, fail, in some cases, got kicked out of college mm-hmm. for drugs, and their parents didn't kick them out. They said, okay, we'll go to a different school or whatever. 
but we condition them to get a job, help us pay these bills. And we have, as black people, we have this mindset as, I bring you here, so you need to help me. Because mm-hmm. I don't take care of you for 18 years. And that's wrong. <laughs> no, I'm being real. Like that, that's, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't ask you to bring me here. Can I say you something? You was being fresh. And you, yeah. Can I say something? Yeah, you can chime me. As black people, the majority of us, we love religion. And, um, but we don't follow. We love that Bible, but we don't follow what that Bible say. And the reason why white people and other races of people are so successful because in the Bible, it says a good man leave an inheritance for their children. They preach everything but preach. that. Preach. They preach everything but that. Preach. And that is why white people are so successful. And we have to move from the from the situation where it's so like you blaming the white man. Slavery right. happened. I ain't bought no slave. I don't know what it is to pick no pick no, yeah. pick no card. Exactly. I can see that from your eyes. You no, baby. No I don't. I don't know what it is. You're like, you only no black no trees. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what it is to pick any any any, any dandelions or anything yeah. like that. <laughs> Tell it that. But um. They don't. I remember I was working for this um, creek man. I'm not going to say the name of the establishment. But right in, you know, Baham- right in Nassau, Bahamas. And I watched his mother came in, into the restaurant I was working at. And she sat down and she ate. And she paid the full bill. She didn't ask for any discount or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that is her son establishment. Right. So I get it. That's her son's establishment. And it. she did that. And not only she did it, I watched um, his cousins and brothers came to his establishment. They sat down, they eat, they had a, a wonderful time, mm-hmm. and they paid their bill. They didn't ask for a discount or anything like that. Only us is one, the pay 15%. Yeah. And as a business owner, let me tell you, you don't have to pay all of this. But not because you're my friend or my family, you must assume that... Because you're coming to me, I should either give you fifty percent off or do it for nothing. Not keeping, not keeping in mind that, not keeping in mind that I still have people to pay, Mm -hmm. things to purchase, but because we are so conditioned that favor, 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 favor come from God. Pay your bill. Hey, buddy, I can tell you this. Favor come from God. I can tell you this. Life hard. Life is hard. Like Especially you say, let me tell let me tell you that you don't have to pay me. Mm-hmm. But you don't ever go. I don't care if that's your mother, your father. You don't never go in nobody don't assume. business. Don't assume. Where they work hard to establish that. And you come here because of your relationship or your connection with them. Right. You feel like you obligated. Yeah, or any, I mean, and these people, they attitude is be stink. You think she could? No, she couldn't. Because when she gives you that free, that means she has to find a way or he has to find a way to replace what you just walk out of here with. Life is real, man. But before we we switch the topic, I wanted to answer Felicia. And she was saying, like, basically in a nutshell, because her comment kind of got lost with everything. But she was saying, what about parents who, who push their children to, to make that decision when they turn 18 to leave. What I can say in regards to that is, you have to, listen, it ain't just about a, a, a woman making the house. It's not just about the woman right. making the house a home for a husband. You got to make the house a home for your children as well. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. You understand what I'm saying? Because we ain't just talking about the four walls. We're talking about the actual atmosphere, the energy, mm-hmm. everything inside the home. You can treat your child a certain type of way. And after they get a certain age where they learn sense and they understand your wrongs or where you're going wrong and they realize, hey, I don't have to accept this. This ain't right. You can push them out there. And like, the terms of what you was talking about, um, but... Reaching a certain age. I had to tell somebody the other day, listen, you was a man. You was a man. You nobody checking for no man. Mm-hmm. From you turn 15, 16, and you could get one little parking boy job, your little parking boy money, got to go to something in the house. They quick to throw you out there so you could start making something right. to either help take care of the house or take care of yourself. And I kind of understand it because I get some responsibility people, at the same time, but... It's hard. 
even like for instance, you have, I'm sure you see it when you're driving along the roads, you're seeing kids who look like they're probably in grade two, walking preschoolers to school. Right. I no. I understand life is hard, but at the same time, I but, feel you're forcing your kids to grow up when you do that. That's that's another thing. But at the same time, no matter how ready you think they are, because life tell you when they hit 50 and 60 and they, they man and they can do this and they can do that. No, you should never stop being there to guide your children. Mm-hmm. Five, if you're 15, keep in mind, if you're 15, five years ago, you was 10 years old, you're still a child. If you 18, eight years ago, you was 10 years old. Right. You're an adult for me. When I had say eight years ago, I was 45, man, or eight years ago, I was 30 something. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But come on, man, 19, nine years ago, you was 10. And you really think this person got the sense to come out here and take care of you, take care of themselves, take on big job. They got children, they got apartment. That's why so many people crashing and burning. burning you up. really in they're mentally, I don't care how big and bad and grown you feel because of age, you are not mature yet to take on this life. This life is dirty. This life is dirty. This life could be rough. It's dirty. You don't just jumbo jet because age. Yeah, Miss Smith, I didn't ask to be here. <laughs> I didn't ask, I didn't to, ask be to be here. Rashida Bowen. Hey, my insurance agent. Love you. <laughs> right. And that, well, you know, I left it in there. Well, I leave it there, but you know what you was have me doing. Yes, generational. Well, it's very important. It's very important, especially when you have young kids. Far too often, people die and they have to depend on whatever NIB given them, and it's barely enough. Think about college and and these other stuff. We have to give our kids a chance. If we don't give our kids a fighting chance, who will? Well, I don't have any, so not yet. I know. Not yet. <laughs> I know. Not I yet. can't. Like I say, certain things I could give an input. Right. But I can't really, you know. I and I, I, and I understand. <laughs> so. I want nobody come for me. No one can come for me. My, my vote is my problem. You say. <laughs> Do you feel that women find it difficult to be accountable? That's my next question. Some of them. Elaborate. I want to hear why. Mm-hmm. Women. Wait, say it over. Let me get my thoughts. So, do, you feel, she, oh, oh no, sorry. do you feel that women find it difficult to be accountable? Mm-hmm. Should I put it in my pre-gen voice? Or mm-hmm. You got it. <laughs> do we find do, do women find it hard to be accountable? Yes, they do. Most of them. Why? Too emotional. That's just in our nature. We're always looking for some something to someone to blame. Somebody other flat? than ourselves to blame. It's just. Like I said, it's just in, in nature. So what about you? Have you ever done that? Of course, I'm a lady. I'm a lady. <laughs> Give an example. It wasn't nothing too personal. Everything is personal. <laughs> <laughs> but like... um. I want you to teach me. I don't know. So you, tell me. <laughs> how should I say it? Um. Okay. Relationships. Like I saw a post on Facebook say, you see me dragging slippers. You still want to keep the <laughs> Oh right. <laughs> like something like that. <laughs> like but then again, like like I say, we it, it got like it always takes two to tango. Like even so when I look you, back. You just said because I don't I don't think they heard you clear kill it clearly. She met him dragging slippers. Right. And she still wanna keep the baby. Right. Why are you trying now with baby and someone who you can see suffering? No, why why as a woman, why are you laying down with a man who can't do anything for you? See, my mindset I, on that is kind of different. Yeah. So um, was mine. And, and, and the reason why is I've been in a position where, well, I've been in two, I would say, long-term relationships mm-hmm. in my life. One was five years and one was 13 years. And both of those relationships early on in it, either I wasn't doing good and then I started to do better but they stuck with me. And <clears throat> what if they, they what if they'd count me out from the beginning and say, you know what? You drag his slippers. But maybe my whole mindset and on this different. If you meet me at my lowest point, I'm gonna ride for you. So when I do get in a position where as I can bless you and I can do stuff for you, I'm gonna do it. Vox. So don't just cut me off That's and not count. everybody. Though. No, no, no. And 
I I'm I was always a person who I watched my mommy. My mommy was always a hustler. My daddy was a hustler. A lot of my family members hustlers. So people is asking me if I have if I'm definitely from Kenya because I have too much jobs. Immigration <laughs> officer, marriage officer, justice of the peace, host. So I get it, but don't count me out because I drag in slippers because that could be a front. That is true. Really? I could be because I remember one time I used to pick up this girl in a raggedy vehicle that I had, and I was feeling her out. And when I pick up, after seeing her walking in my fresh ride, she was like, "By this time we had already stopped talking." She's like, "Why you never picked me up with, with this?" I said, "Because I wanted to see where your head was at." So because I already saw that she was so materialistic. First of all, we get it. You re- you reading stuff on the menu that you can't even pronounce, <laughs> just because you see it and you you're looking at the price tag, and then when the food come because it's something that you never ate. Something that you don't really, you don't want it. I mean, I I could be real. I could be real. Sometimes after the relationship over, like sometimes after it, and it makes you feel like I should have taken this nigga to the cleaner say. What? But you know. <laughs> so that's what you no. <laughs> <laughs> But you gotta remember but some. I don't. I can't never. Some can't. men are wise enough within the first date where they should be to read between the lines. For instance, if I go out with you and you're just on your phone and you're taking selfies and stuff, I'm the type of person before we leave that date, your number already deleted. Because we're on this. First of all, I'm taking you someplace where the music won't be too loud because I want to have a conversation. I want to see where your head is. I'm not going to take you to the nightclub where the music and the DJ is screaming and patois, and I can't have a conversation. With you. Just the first day. Yeah, I'm saying I'm not going to take you there. So if a guy trying to take you to a club on your first date. If I'll take you to a restaurant with maybe a maybe a jazz band, something with light music where we can actually have a conversation. But if you just snapping what you what you're getting to eat and you're just snapping yourself, I mean, some I'm, people just ain't no, used and excited. Don't get me wrong, nothing is. I'm a foodie. I'm, I'm gonna take pictures too if I like the presentation. But what what I'm saying is, the whole I and I I think they call it takers now. Whereas you have persons who will go out on a date with you, they're not interested in you. But they're just interested in the date. That's something. That's a new concept that I learned. They they keeping me here. So you have females who would go out. They they don't want you at all. You're not their type. But they want to go on dates. So I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. They could call me. They could call me low standards, low maintenance. They call me whatever they won't call me. I cannot deal with a man for what he has. I cannot because. There is there is a real life beyond the things. And I feel like I already mature past yeah, you know, I, I didn't been I didn't been in relationships where I had everything at my fingertips. Because I mean automatically when some people meet me, I guess my physical appearance say, Oh, she bougie or she this or she like right. this or she like that. But I far from it, you know? And that's the problem. Very often you're Depicted based on how you look it, and then they have a conversation. But but so the wrong. crazy thing is, they they feel like, all right, I know how to get this one. Like someone tell me, I wanted to talk to you a long time. I was like, yeah. It was the red lips. No, <laughs> <laughs> they said to me, they said to me, um, I was gonna give you a, a figure, you couldn't say no to. I said I couldn't say no to it. I say you lose already because I don't want hair nothing but no money. I don't want hair about your money. I don't want hair about your job. I don't want hair about these things. We can get to all of that, but let me let me figure out who you are. You understand what I'm saying? Because right here in Nassau, they can get mad all they want. Right here in Nassau, it's too much women sitting down. They are not happy. And me with my little knock off this and that. I walk around and I cherry, but someone who got the real Chanel, the real Tory Burch, the real this, miserable. the real that, they miserable because, because y'all, vanity. y'all doing too much for vanity, yeah, for these things. Mm-hmm. The, the, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Y'all doing way too much. Wow. Y'all can't even stomach looking at y'all own gifts because y'all doing so much to get wow. it. Looking you understand? That's them trips. Y'all can't even stomach it. So, so the people who sitting out here genuinely yeah. happy, you you will really wonder yeah. why they so sour. Cause my understand. A piece of mind is so valuable. 
I I don't care how you floss that apartment, because when that old man come, who helping you pay, he knocked the door, you can get tired at some point of giving yourself. Tired of them wrinkles. I just don't make me laugh. You want me to lose my heart. Tired of the old geezer. But you can get tired. You can get tired of living a certain life mm-hmm. to keep a certain life. Eventually, you're going to lose everything because one of these days you can tap out. You cannot keep that up forever. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to hear about nothing no man got. Right. Let me figure out who you is because I am quite capable, and I just saw this on a post on Facebook. I am quite capable of reciprocating what I'm asking for. Mm-hmm. You understand? I can help you just like how you could help me. So we ain't worrying about your job. We ain't worrying about your car. Right. We ain't worrying about your apartment. Right. Let me figure out who I lock in myself down. Because I always post on Facebook. Y'all right. don't think about the long yeah, yeah, run. Yeah. yeah. The long run kind of see, come in. Those things that they look at, the vanity, it's still not yours. He might be loaning it to you. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if he decides, okay, I'm moving on to the next. And cut off. I swear. And then at the same time, as a man, well, first of all, I'm not, I wouldn't try to buy anyone because then your your feelings or your love won't be genuine. Right. It's not, it's conditional. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for unconditional. So that would be a whole, that would be the issue for me. And when I'm, what if I get in a position where I can't provide this stuff? You know she gone. Then you're gone. But scrap and gone. I would never feel mm-hmm. safe with you because the next person who may have more fi- finances than me, he can buy you just like how you're here with me because of finances. Mm. So you're just looking for the, the, the big next thing. That's how I would feel. Exactly. What's your take on it? Because I know you have something to say. I always got something to say. I know. <laughs> um, so in those cases, um, <clears throat> in those cases, like a lot of, I would say, guys, they don't actually know how to approach or to lead because it wasn't really, but some, it wasn't taught to them. A lot of guys, they wasn't taught how to, you know, speak or, you know, to actually go after a yeah. woman. So they feel a as though, beca- yeah, yeah a, yeah, a lady, you know. So when they feel as though, you know, because they got a couple of dollars now, they could, you know, actually, you know. Be rude. Be, be, be just whatever, but like, and I've been on, I've been on the dates and what's not. Um, but how, outside of your money, what do you have? Nothing. No substance. That's what I'm saying. Yes, you have money. Yes, yes, you filthy rich. Yes, you own yachts. Yes, you have businesses. But outside of that, what are you? Eh? What do you have? Yeah. Are you a kind person? Do you have a personality? Are you even funny? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. So like. A lot of guys, they hide behind their money. They think their money is going to save them. I, I think, too, with some persons who are very wealthy, that's it's connected to their ego. If a their bit. wealth is gone, mm-hmm. they'll, only, they'll only be a shell of a person. Yeah. So you have to have substance. And then at the same time, back to females, you have some females who are so not used to good treatment. So I'll tell me both. When you open a door to them, for them, and you're doing what should be normal gestures, mm-hmm. they find it as being soft. Because they're just used to being called out of their names and being sp- spoken to like a dog. And I don't know, some of them just stupid to that. I mean, sorry if, if I can't say it on this thing, but they, some of them just foolish to that. Yeah. And I are oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't say that. Like, it, it has a lot. When, okay, me now dating. childhood too. It has a lot to deal with how the person was raised. So, like, some some girls, they also watch their mothers, you know, gone through so much and, you know, had to do X, Y, and Z to make ends meet. And they watch, you know, they they, they, they just watch their, their mothers right. got, abu- got, got, got abused. Them. So when they get with a man, they feel as though if he don't, you know, hit me, he don't love me, or if he don't, you know, call me up my name, he don't love me. For some people, that's that's a reality. Oh, same right. set way, <clears throat> same set way as some, as some guys. They watch, you know, they watch their daddy, you know, do certain things, and when they get with their woman, all the guys, all the older, all the older guys around them, when they get with a woman, they think that's the norm. That the, the toxicity, what they bring, and they think that's how you're supposed to, supposed to do it. So the. It goes back to questions, uh, even with our daughters. 
from this generation going forward, we need to recondition them so that they will know their worth. Like with my, my daughter, I just love on her. Say, what, what I tell Eva, I said, you are the prize and your destiny is secure. She has to say that, hon, my son, every morning before they come with my car to go to school. Because I need them to know. And now I would pretend like I forgot. And my four-year-old would say, Daddy, I am the prize and my destiny is secure. Yeah, I mm. need you to know that. You have to know that. So it goes back to the childhood and it goes to what you instill in them. Like how when we were young, we learned the books of the Bible. Now we need to start teaching them mantra. We need to start telling them and teaching these, them these stuff to help build their self-esteem from young. Right. Because if, if we're trying to build your self-esteem when you're already a teenager, you're going to be impressionable. Anyone, and that goes back to peer pressure. If you instill these values in a child from a child is nothing, their mindset when it comes to peer pressure would be, I, I, I feel it would be kind of different. They won't be as impressionable. What do you think? Okay, <clears throat> well, okay, I don't really understand this comment, but it says it's conditional. They've been conditioned to think, act, and behave that way because of their environment. And at what point do you say enough is enough? I think that person is talking in, along the lines of females. Probably, probably the previous topic. Conditioning yeah. them, <clears throat> yeah. But we have to, we have to erase the negative mindsets that our forefathers had. Exactly. We can't um, continue going on like this, no. What people don't understand is, you know, a lot of, when I start to talk the deep stuff, a lot of people, I can't take the deep Get stuff in this Get deep it. stuff, but life is very spiritual. That's, that's point blind period. Life is very spiritual. We only have this body to help us maintain our life here on earth, but life is very spiritual. And a human being, the best way I can put it, it's like a human being is like a, a computer. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> it's what you download on this computer. You understand? When you download something, okay, let's, let's get, let, let me dumb it down a bit. <clears throat> if you download, you know it's slow. Yeah. Yeah. If you, I didn't play it. If you were to download a game on your phone, mm -hmm. Any, if your child use your phone, the first thing they can do is play that game, mm -hmm. okay? Because it's there. So let me let me let me bring that back into the, what I'm trying to say right here. As parents, be careful what you downloading and your children from whom, because that spirit gonna be on them when they get out of jail in the world. Mm -hmm. People gonna play on what they see. You understand? You talk to your children bad and you shut them up in their home. Their teachers can do it. Their friends can do it because you already conditioned them. Acceptable. Exactly. Yeah. From from some people, from your children, accept some things from you. They can go out here and accept it from everybody else. So you got to be careful. Because yeah. if my parents could do it to me, and they, they're the ones who are supposed to love me. And then see, you 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 do you you stand back and you talk to your parents or you you say this. And I, once again, you're getting punished now because, all right, what they did hurt your feelings, but you can't tell them that. So you, you go... To school, and you feel you still have the mentality mm -hmm. like, yeah, let me let let me leave that alone. I ain't got nothing to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I ain't got answer them. I ain't gonna say nothing. A lot of people, I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't say nothing. Why? Because you already conditioned that when you open your mouth to defend yourself, you can get in trouble. I don't care. That's where so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, <laughs> some some girls do like bombs. Some some females do like bombs. Hey, it. I don't, That's I don't, right, Tonya. Love him for him, not materialistic things. Exactly. I agree with... Who said that? Tonya? Tonya, yeah. I agree with Tonya Stir. My good cousin. I just I just feel like I can't... I don't even want to talk about the rest of the world because we ain't even on that level in, in, in terms of teensiness. But I just want to say, like, right here... Mm -hmm. Selling his soul for materialistic things, like on TV. Right here in this country. It's like... So many people are losing the greatest thing they ever was given, and that's themselves. Oh, and say it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, like, I can't remember what I said. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. I like that. I like they, that. They losing some. They losing the greatest thing that they were ever given, and that's themselves. And you really thought, hear me out now. You really thought you gained something when you lost yourself and get a pair of Tory Burch slippers. 
or Chanel bag. Don't get me started. What, them said will like go to dinner. What girl have wear and there in a minute? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You literally allowing somebody to bring you to the lowest version of yourself for a pair of slippers and something to eat and somewhere to lay your head. Let me tell you something. I watch God do it for me. And I got one friend. I can call his name, Nico Pinder. Krista Nico Pender is one of my best friends. That young man has watched me pray. And I, I always used to tell him, I say, listen, by the time you see sunset, by the time you see this, by the time you see that, watch God move. I have a testimony to tell you. When I used the messages for him, the only thing he used to do is laugh. He said, but you caught, like. That's faith. I said, look. He said, yeah, but he said, I, you know what I'm saying? You will have to learn to thug it out with some things before you lose yourself. You have to learn to thug it out with some things because don't let nobody fool you. It ain't how good you put it down for this. this let me don't say mm -hmm. it. it ain't for how for good, that guy. Yeah, for that guy. It ain't how good you put it down for that guy. Right. Why you got that slippers or that house or that car or that this or that that. Stop letting the devil fool you. Everything that you have or that you're going to get was already set in your life. Don't lose yourself to get what was already yours. Because you're deterring Ooh. yourself. You're deterring yourself. Mm -hmm. And see, that's you can stop yourself right there because you ain't going to get nothing else. Because that version of you that you became, God ain't ordained that to be blessed. Right, right, so right. you can stay right there with that same shoe, same kind. Right, you ain't going right. to never really see what it is God have for you because better. you done lost yourself. And it's better. You can stay right to the yeah. average. Yeah. So don't allow people to cause you to lose yourself of what's already yours. You ain't get that car and that house because of your connections. Mm -hmm. God ever had it for you to get it. You Ooh. understand? Mm -hmm. You ain't get the relationship because you do this. Or you... No, you got that because it was ever for you to have. And guess what? Just how it's ordained for you to have it, at some point in time, it's ordained for you to lose it. So don't do too much. Mm -hmm. You can get it when you're supposed to get it, and you can lose it when you're supposed to lose it. That's, uh, that's as right. simple as right. life is. Right. That's as simple as I say. So I don't, that's the way I think. So you ain't going to get me to touch no bunch of foolishness talking about what you could do for me and what you could care for. I yeah. don't care. That's my mindset I don't care. too. And it, I, I personally feel like the tougher the trials and the tribulation, the sweeter the blessing would be. I tell you that. So when, I digress. when in the midst of tragedy, most persons would crumble. I still could pray my way through. Hey, that's hard. I might as well bring and you up. It ain't that's hard. easy. It ain't easy, but I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I've seen I've seen it. Within the last few days, I've seen it. I've seen the turnaround. When I could have compromised myself, I've seen it. Trust in God ain't easy. So we're gonna move to uh, we're gonna move to another question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that our generation of women don't know when to switch to their feminine energy? I oh, let me answer that. Let me let me I talk. Let me, let, me talk yeah. it, let me talk about that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, and this is what I will say: whenever a woman is left unprotected, unprovided for, un unsafe. She will be masculine. And I'm saying this from a place of experience. Mm -hmm. So how you want, you as a woman, and I, I, I see in it now, like, you cannot do it on your own. Right. As a, as a woman, I always used to watch, you know, um, the movies of the, of, the, of the black woman being so strong and so independent and so... You know, just so tough and, and rugged. And when I watch, you know, the, the white movies, I see the, she laying up. You know, going to, when, when her husband come home, she baking, she baking him a pie. You know what I'm saying? So. What's she putting in the pie? <laughs> cherry pie. <laughs> <laughs> she baking him a cherry, she baking him a cherry a pie. Extra here, but no extra. I don't know why girls don't get loud like that, man. Oh, so only the black woman. <laughs> a little pee in your lemonade. <laughs> I hide over that. <laughs> but like I say, um and a lot a lot of us 
we have this thing where we want to be independent. Now, I'm not saying like don't have your own or don't have something. Don't have don't have something you can't bring to the table. Right. You know, but um, don't let that be the the only thing to you because, and I I'm seeing it now as I as I evolve. You know, I do get more benefits mm-hmm. being softer. Being gentle. So the guys being, being more nicer to you? Mm-hmm. Or yes. Because you're more approachable? Yes, 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 mm-hmm. yes. So whenever you come, like, you know, you, you, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it scares people away. Like, mm-hmm. me personally, I was very, if, if, if y'all know me from a long time. Was it like a wall you had up and that's why you were? No. Well, okay, for my situation, I was with someone that actually put me in a very masculine position. So I did more than he did. And that's, I'm, reali- I'm realizing now, like, right. that's how, it, 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 it's it's not supposed right. to have been like that. Right. So where, where I was doing the majority of everything, I was super dominant. Mm-hmm. I was, I was losing, I was losing my beauty. I was, mm-hmm. I mean, I was always pretty, you know, but. You was always pretty. I was always, I was, okay, okay. I was like a, I was like a tough cookie. Okay. But you I, know, I, based on what you're saying, you were pushed to that. Right, but right, I'm right. I'm talking along the lines as she don't know when to switch. And she has a man in her life who's doing everything that he should do. And he's trying to lead. But because she's incapable <clears throat> of switching to feminine energy, she's trying to make him become submissive. When he trying to lead and he want her to be submissive. Um. And I think that goes back to... Believe it or not, a lot of women run in the household. Like they a, had no choice. <laughs> and then you, not not saying you as no, a I you, understand. but you as a female, you grew up with your Grammy being single and your Grammy talking about how she had to raise five children and weed, grass, and deal with the field with a baby scrapped to her back and then sometimes go fish <laughs> and then cook it in the oven. So your mommy grew up under that. So now you grew up with your mommy being tough and your mommy and your daddy broke up early and your mommy ain't had no man in her life for years. And now you're saying in your mind, my mommy did it. My Grammy did it. Mm-hmm. I don't need a man. The only thing I need Woo! a man for is to have children. No, 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 no. That's a generational curse. Yeah, I, don't, a but, generation. I, I don't agree with but that. But believe it or not, it's happening. It does yes. happen. And yeah, I, it was I, happening this to me. question was sent to me from a male in my inbox stating that he's married and he has aspiration, he has dreams, he has goals, he's paying all of the bills, but if his aspiration and his goals and his dreams and his views doesn't align with his wife, he has to submit because there ain't gonna be no peace in the home. So that's why I'm asking, when does you, when do you turn on your feminine energy before you run that man? Because he's ready now to break off running because he's saying he's unable to lead. He's doing all of his manly duties and she's turning him away from her. His heart is turning. He said he's not sexually active with anymore because you already bruise his ego. Because every time he brings stuff to you, you're knocking it down. Oh no, you can't do this. Let's do this. Or you can't do this. So he feels as though, when do I get the chance to leave? I could say something again. Yep. Not cutting you off, so sorry. Um, that's probably that's not the man she wanna submit to. But why get married him? <laughs> benefits. <laughs> the exact benefits. Benefits. The benefits. 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 So what would your advice be to him in that situation? Buddy, um I mean I know you're not married. So I'm it's not kinda of, it's kinda of so. difficult to give a, a married person but, advice if you never lived it. Right. But based on you saying that you were forced to be masculine because you had to take on so much. But he, with him, he's doing what he's, I only can speak based on what he said. He's doing his part, but it's her way or no way. So right now she's running him. Well, and that's what I always say on my TikToks. He unequally yoke. You unequally yoke. Um, 
go to counseling and if counseling don't help then part ways because with me I'll say it don't it, it may not, moving on don't be easy but it don't make no sense just to say something just to say you married right. just to be married just to say you married yeah, mm-hmm. that's that, that's that's my that's like me saying it don't make no sense you know to have a man or be in a relationship just to say yo I I have a man now or I in a relationship it, it don't I, make no I, sense. I I I get it but too at the same time <clears throat> even for the Bahamas with our small demographics our divorce rate is so crazy. Black people divorce rate is so crazy. And I think a lot of times we get married with the concept or the mindset that we're married. Mm-hmm. But we're only thinking about how happy we are on this day. But not thinking that the marriage is what matters. They don't even be not, happy not on the, the wedding. <laughs> yeah, not the wedding. And something that I I started with any couple that i marry i ask them to write a letter to each other and i present it to them on their wedding day because when times get tough and the trials start rolling because it will you need to reflect back on why why did you do this why did you choose this person why did you marry this person and very often persons get married with an unrealistic mindset because who you are in this year won't be the same person 5 and 10 years from now we change and we evolve cuz some comments i've been homeless as an education okay well, she might be right in some aspects at this point it's more of a cultural thing cuz even <clears throat> that even the ones that get the luxury to stay home comfortably of the same demeanor today is black yeah and it's crazy well so that's why we have to go back to conditioning our minds the correct way. Felicia Dean says if a man shows that he could lead a comment got lost again but I read it and she said if a man shows that he could lead a woman will submit. Let me let me just speak from my perspective. Mm-hmm. Let me speak from my perspective. I'm going to be honest when I said there were a lot of things I needed to change because all right. <clears throat> I my temper ain't going nowhere now but I I tone it down. Because I come, I mean, that's not my home life, but right. Yeah, you know, I was, I was, I was crazy, man. I, I, I was fighting all the time. You was crazy and fighting. You. Yeah, I had a problem. Like you really couldn't say the wrong thing to me. I would have snatched you, and I, I took my little tomboy mm-hmm. behavior to a man. You understand? I wasn't interested in them things. I was, I was beating dudes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're beating people, Jack. I mean, because I was in school, I was crazy. Like I say, I mean, you know. But the first thing is admitting you was crazy. Then. Do, don't not rub it in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but when I got to a certain age where I was actually interested in guys, it was kind of hard for me to regroup, take right. myself away from what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. It's now at I 25. Yeah, 25. It's now. And the baby is three. 20. Shh. Because now, at 24, 25, I learned some sense. You understand? And it, and it comes with it comes with, with life, I would right. say. Because um, a relationship that I was in, I had to tell the person, don't tell me nothing about me. Because I'm very honest with myself. I know what I need to work on. I know what I need to mm-hmm. change or whatever the case may be. And I will do that. Right. You understand? Right. But I ain't submitting to you. You are not going to do what you want to do. And then because I wouldn't allow you to do what you want to do, you're going to say that. You ain't submissive. You aggressive. You this. You the, I don't want to hear it. Because quite frankly, whatever you hate from me, understand, I just became a mirror of how you treated yeah. me. The atmosphere has to be comfortable for you to be fem- feminine. So- Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to make That's the it. atmosphere comfortable. That's it. You you cannot. I don't I don't understand why people lay that in relationships. You want to make the place hell and you want somebody to give you heaven. Ooh. How you want that? Where you where you are where you all get that from? Where you get that from? Mm-hmm. Like I'm a, I'm a run out cuz I you understand what I'm saying? No, but, like, but you know the, this person has a has a a good point. A lot of the times when you are basically standing up for yourself too and making sense. Some females twist that and 
Some females are acting the spirit of manipulation. Oh, yeah, they do. And they would men use that too. and say, hold yeah, hold no, hold men, men too. too. They men got too. the Jezebel men, spirit. Men too. <laughs> Tat and down. Men too. Tat and down. I, I, I'm Tat and down. I'm going to be The fair. Jezebel and Delilah spirit are, are I, heavy in these men these I, days. I, I'm going to be fair. Let's that, not go there. That's a true thing. A lot of people think the Jezebel spirit only can be with uh, females, no. but it can be with both. But he, has, he, has a, he has a very good point. Whereas... <laughs> She feels as though it's controlling when you're actually just standing your ground. So that is a good point. It is. I you supposed to let if I don't care what it is. Uh, uh, you are supposed to communicate when things going wrong. Ain't nobody supposed to be manipulating nobody. That's supposed to be grounds to speak. Otherwise, the relationship being awake. Yeah, I agree. You have anything else to add with that topic? I got a lot to add. Mm. Yeah, add your topic and then we we'll go to our final thoughts. Oh child, oh child, girl. <laughs> oh child, back, back to what she was saying. When you have some, some people. Well, I, I don't want to, I don't want to turn this into like a male versus female type of thing. Mm-hmm. But you have, you have some men. You know, they want you to do, they want you to be a woman mm-hmm. and a man to them. They want you to, to do, to, to, to basically, basically take on. Take on the responsibilities mm-hmm. they, they 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 doing and still want you know to be to be you know soft and sweet. So if I doing what you doing, in a way you could get sweetness. Mm-hmm. You could get termod. Period. <laughs> because just, just bitters. That's what I'm so saying. Because at the end of the day, whatever you give a woman, she's gonna multiply it. I get that. And one thing I know as a man who have. Being in a long-term relationship, we want peace. Some we, of y'all. We, y'all like the idea well, of peace, but y'all don't want peace. Thank you. Well, okay, y'all let, like okay. the idea of you know peace, what? but me, y'all don't want peace. Let me speak for me. I I can't do the drama. I can't do the tension. I can't do the stonewalling. I'm one who, if I do something wrong, let's have a conversation. The worst thing you can do to me is be silent. And by silent, I mean for days, for weeks, for months. <clears throat> I let's up. Tell me what I do wrong. Let's fix it. So, if I don't have peace, you won't go see me. The Bible speak about it. If a man is not at peace, he would rather sleep on the roof. I would sleep on the roof. Well, Come in my blanket well, and my pillow. Well, let me, let me, let me, because you all like coming. Use the Bible. True. Well, you was using it all day. I got. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you was using the Bible let me, all day. Let me, let me say two things. Two things, right? Yes, dating while dating court courting is very important. And a <coughs> lot of persons to that commenter, they date incorrectly. Let me let me say two things. I posted on Facebook before. You peace peace come with order. You I understand what I'm you. saying? I agree, Tonya. Peace mm-hmm. comes with order. You know why they say you know peace till Christ come? Because wicked people in this earth causing a bunch of disorder and chaos. You understand what I'm saying? When you subtract the order of your relationship or your house, you're looking for peace. Um, you're looking for your peace to be disrupted in your relationship or in your house. Because when you I met agree, a woman or when you met a man, I sure you always went over these topics of what you like and what you don't like and what you will allow and what mm-hmm. you ain't gonna allow. Some of y'all know. That woman ain't got to ask y'all for nothing. She ain't want nothing from you. All she says, don't cheat. That's the main thing y'all do, what she say, don't do. And then when she start rowing and carrying on bad nose, you ain't peaceful, man. You hostile, you aggressive. I got to go cheat some more because you you just ain't making so the house some more. He got to cheat in peace. <laughs> yeah, let me let me go cheat some more because you, you make. But understand, if you keep the order, the one thing she right. say, don't do, if you don't do it, you can keep your peace. Right. The one thing he say, don't do, if you do it, you will keep the peace. Y'all, y'all like to pull back the order. I agree. So y'all can do slackness. I agree. You understand? So, and then y'all can say, man could do it, and woman can't do it, which is another stupidness. That's a double standard. So we're going to go to your final thoughts. Can you give your final thoughts? Well, thank you on up. this peace thing. Um, I would say peace come with from within. You can't expect someone to give you something that you don't have within yourself or you don't have for yourself. I agree. Meredith? 
I can start robbing so she should talk. <laughs> Wait, give me final thoughts. We're about to go on. My 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 final thoughts on on that is whatever you want, you you gotta work towards it. Like I like I always just say, I had to tell somebody before. You have to think of the long run. You gonna lose some solid people and some solid opportunities in life just looking at right here, right now, and the pleasures. Pleasures ain't real. Because after you feel that, that just becomes a memory that will fade. Pleasure is a feeling. It will fade. Look at what you lost in the long run for five minutes. I don't care if you had an on and off relationship with somebody for a month. Right. Look what you lost for a month worth of sex and sneaky links. You just destroy a solid foundation of family and, and, and relationship. You understand? And then you got some people feel like, well, what's the worst that could happen? Wow. The only thing you could do, the only thing you could do is find another man. What? You think I can't deal with seeing you getting pregnant again? Or you think I can't see you with another woman? Daddy in it. Because let's take it deeper. Mm-hmm. When when you messed up your family, see, you could trust yourself with your children. I mm-hmm. can't trust another man with my children. Right. You understand? I, I, I can't it. trust another woman with my children. <laughs> so when you cheating and doing all your foolishness and you are causing the problems where your house got to be dismantled, you don't know who coming in your children's life because your woman got to find somebody else. You don't know who coming in your man's life because he got to find somebody else. You understand? And a lot of times... It was the stepfathers, the stepmothers that abused children, killed yeah, children, yeah. and all these different foolishness yeah. that happened. And at the end of the day, some of them feel like they don't care. But how do you feel if your partner, the children are right, but if your partner not getting abused or your partner end up in a funny situation, how do you feel? Because they could have been safe with you, but you wouldn't be here. If you push them out there and now you put them in that type of predicament. See, that's the way I think. So I don't do certain things. I get it. But I get it. You digress. I digress. I, I can't take it. But I'd like to say, <laughs> life is full of lessons. It is. You're going to go through some trials and some tribulations. You're going to learn some things. You're going to swallow some bitter stuff along the way. <clears throat> but it's important to learn from those lessons so that you don't make the same mistake time Absolutely. and time again. So it's been a pleasure having you guys. And I'm sure it won't be your last time here with me. It. On life lessons. Thank you. <laughs> New vision media two for two to the world. New vision media. Wasting time is over. New vision media two for two to the world. New vision media. All right, let go.